beautiful. This is Michelle Knight. I'm so sorry. Yet again, I'm ill. So I'm actually doing this from my sick bed. There will not be a weekly this week. I'm not up to it. But I couldn't not give you the monthly. And the yearly will be coming, hopefully in a week, when I'm fully better. This month kicks off with a full moon. And at the end of the month, we've got a blue moon. There's lots of emotional changes. Here's your monthly astrology. Taurus, the full moon kicks off with a grand water trine. It's a very emotional month for all of us. And for you, you want to communicate your needs and your desires. You're very feisty when it comes to your relationships this month as Mars, the planet of passion, is in your relationship zone. You can express your sensuality, but also if somebody's been messing you around, you may get quite annoyed with them. But also you you want to talk, you want to express what you feel and take some responsibility if you've been holding back, you know, for, for not saying what you want. Don't expect people to be telepathic, but on the other hand... Now you're able to reach someone emotionally in a way that you couldn't before. And you're feeling more in tune with your intuition as well. With Venus sextile Neptune on the third, there should be some very profound and intimate emotional connections with people and meeting new people this month who stretch you and make, make you feel excited about ideas and about taking things to the next level. Mars is conjunct Jupiter on the seventh. The Jupiter is the planet of good fortune, which is in your relationship zone. So this year, you should have some really good vibes and good opportunities when it comes to your relationships and you're able to push things on. Again, you're much more proactive and feisty than usual. Venus, your ruler is also sextile Jupiter on the 8th and uh, Mars is sextile Pluto. So the key really is for you to try new things, do new things, stretch yourself, be open to experiencing life differently when it comes to love. Sometimes you can be a bit, a bit cautious about things like that, but actually you're going to find that you're really, your soul is fed by the unusual this month. The sun is also conjunct Venus in your adventure house. So the message of this month is to stretch, to grow, to travel, to journey, whether that's a literal journey, a metaphysical journey, an emotional journey, whatever journey, it's going to fulfill you. It's going to excite you. You will experience deep pleasure this month as long as you are fearless and not just trying to cling on to old routines. The new moon on the 17th is also in that adventure house. So it's like you're planning a trip of some description. You're letting go of what you thought was stretching yourself and you're finding <coughs> sorry, new boundaries. Venus, your ruler, is also shifting signs on the 18th and going into your career zone. This month, you're falling in love with what you want to do in the world again or you're going to have an idea or, or a desire connected to your career. could even be that you fall in love with someone that you work with, but either way, your heart is connected to your career. The sun also enters that zone on the 20th, reinforcing that energy. And um, a good, another good day for love is on the 25th when Mercury sextile Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. And um, you might fall in love with someone unusual, some, you might feel drawn to someone from a different culture, different background, different life experience. Uh, and there's a lot of shifting sands for you. You're very, very deep this month. You're feeling things very deeply, particularly after the 26th when Mars shifts signs. The blue moon on the 30, 31st, which is another full moon, is in your home and family zone. And there's also a total eclipse. You may decide that you want to move or you want to change things. Either way, it's incredibly powerful. Take care, gorgeous. Have a stunning 2018. And I'll speak to you soon.
Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.